This is 3.6 equivalent Boolean expressions. And then it says De Morgan's laws. And if you do decide to study computer science in college, or even just take a few computer science classes, you'll continue to have to break down different logic and maybe find shortcuts based off of logic or understand how a compiler works. So uh, when we work in different conditional statements here, uh, it's going to provide a few examples. Um, it says this lesson should take 90 minutes. I think we'll do it in less than 90. Um, I wanted to take a look at this prior and last period I was sitting here taking a look and seeing um, if I could squeeze this into this class period if it was possible. So I wanted to be able to do that. I think we can. It says, um, what if you heard a rumor about a senior at your high school? There's rumors about all the seniors in the high school currently. And then you heard a rumor. Then you heard that the rumor wasn't true. It wasn't a senior at your high school. Which part of a senior at your high school wasn't true? Maybe they weren't a senior, or maybe they didn't go to your high school. You could write this as a logic statement like below using negation and the and operator, the double ampersand. Since both parts have to be true for the whole statement to be true, okay? If they aren't a senior and they don't attend your high school, then that's not part of this whatsoever. But we're looking for someone to be a senior and that they're a senior at your high school. Okay. If we're looking at this logically here, it says A and B, and then there's an exclamation point on the outside, meaning what if A and B, if that's true, right, then there's going to be a negation on the outside, making it not true. So if A and B, is true, then it would make it false. And looking at this, it says A would be a senior and B would be at your high school. This means that it is not true that A is a senior and B is someone at your high school. Uh, in this lesson, we'll learn more about De Morgan's Law. So here we go, introducing De Morgan's Law. Uh, De Morgan's Laws were developed by Augustus De Morgan in the 1800s. They show how to simplify the negation of a complex Boolean expression, which is when there are multiple expressions joined by an and or or, <coughs> such as x is less than three and y is greater than two. So you have a number is less than three uh, and then another number greater than two. When you negate one of these complex expressions, you can simplify it by flipping the operators and end up with equivalent expressions. Okay, De Morgan's, or sorry, De Morgan was able to write out a bunch of truth tables that support this. And it says, De Morgan's laws state that the following equivalencies are true. Here's an easy way to remember these laws. Move the not inside and becomes or. And if you move the not inside or becomes and. So here's an example here, okay? If we know that it's not going to be A and B, okay? We can easily rewrite this. Something that's equivalent is you can say not A, and then you flip or, it's no longer and, you can write it as or, not B. This also remains true for if you write not A or B, that's the same as saying not A, and not B. And why is this true? Well, I can demonstrate that in a truth table for you here after we're, I can write it on the board if we don't actually fully discuss this in the lesson and show you that both when using a truth table end up being exactly the same. Okay, when we have a not A and B, that's the same thing as writing not A or not B, you get the same true or false value. Okay, not A or B, you get the same true or false value as if it's not A and not B, okay? In Java, De Morgan's laws are written with the following operators. So you can take not A and B, and that's the same exact thing as not A or not B. If you have not A or B, that's equivalent to not A and not B.
sounds like a bunch of just garbled up stuff right now probably, but let's go ahead and test some of this out. Going back to our example above, if it's not a senior and at our high school, that's equivalent to not a senior or not at our high school using the Morgan's law. You get the same true or false value. You can also simplify negated Boolean expressions that have relational operators like less than, greater than, or equal to. Uh, you can move negation inside the parentheses by flipping the relational operator to its opposite sign. This is important, okay? We're gonna go through some of them below. If you don't understand what we're talking about, we'll go through this in a bit. It says, for example, not C equals D is the same as saying C does not equal D. An easy way to remember this, to move the not, flip the sign. So we have a few easier ways to remember this. Notice that the equals becomes not equals, but the less than symbol becomes greater than or equal to, and the greater than symbol becomes less than or equal to. Less than or equal to becomes greater than, and greater than or equal to becomes less than where the sign is flipped and an equal sign may be added or removed. So, all right, I just said a bunch of stuff. Let's see what this looks like visually here, okay? So it says not C is equal to D is equivalent to C is not equal to D. Not C is not equal to D is equivalent to C is equal to D, that one makes sense, right? Just, just by looking at it. Um, not C is less than D is equivalent to, look what we did to C, C is greater than or equal to D. Okay, we flip the sign and added an equal sign. And then not C is greater than D is equivalent to C is less than or equal to D. Not C is less than or equal to D is equivalent to C is greater than D. And not C is greater than or equal to D is equivalent to C is less than D. All right, let's still kind of look at this a little bit more logically here. Okay, it says, although you don't have to memorize the Morgan's laws for the AP exam, uh, you should be able to show that two Boolean expressions are equivalent. You should be able to know if it asks you if these are equivalent, you should be able to say yes or no. You can test out logic or you can memorize these different little shortcuts. Okay, one way to do this is by using truth tables. For example, we can show that not A and B is equivalent to not A or not B by constructing the truth table below and seeing that they give identical results for the two expressions. All right, so let's take a look at these, right? I've been talking here, but let's actually look at some visuals. Okay, if we know that A is true and B is true, look at our example that I wrote here on the board. If P is Q, Sorry, if P is true and Q is true, right? When we know that A and B are true, so if we just take a look at this example right here that I'm highlighting, okay? A and B, if it's true, the opposite of that, the not would be false. That's why this not A and B is the exact opposite as the A and B that I have on the board. Look on the board, I have true, false, false, false. This reads out false, true, true, true. The opposite, right? Cool. Well, now check this out. If you look at the or, okay? If you're saying not A or not B, okay? So not A or not B, that gives you false. Not A is false, this one is true, so that gives me a true. The reason why this would be false is because not true is false and not true is false. Are either of these true? No, so it gives me false. So we have false, true, true, true. Check this out. You get the same exact truth table. So this, every single time you have not A and B, that's actually the same exact truth value as not A or not B. False, false, true, 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 and true, true. Okay, so just another way of writing it. Okay, so we'll be distributing these knots throughout and flipping them around and using shortcuts 
in order to answer questions quickly rather than sitting there and trying to test different values the entire time. Okay, so this is more of the same. Okay, we're simplifying. So it says not and what this does is I'm able to take not automatically flip this sign rather than using the and I can use the or and distribute this like basically just using distributive property right we're using the exclamation point here the exclamation point here that would flip each sign which allows me to write x is greater than or equal to three or y is less than or equal to two all right so let's take a look at this and it says for what values of x and y will the code print true trial different values for x and y to check your answer so let's run this right well i guess before i even run it it says x is less than three and y is greater than two and then after all that we're going to find the opposite of it so the not by putting an exclamation point out in front so let's go ahead and just run through this code is two x is two is two less than three yes so this evaluates as true is y which is three is three greater than two yes that evaluates as true so true and true that's true the opposite of true is false so it should print out false and it has right let's test one of these let me just go ahead and put four here for x right so is four less than three no that is false which means that even if this is true it's going to short circuit out as we learned last week it's going to short circuit out and automatically say false and the opposite of false is true and if i run this it's going to print out true one last one here okay so if i know that x is equal to four let's go ahead and make it where i don't know I'll put this y is equal to zero these are both going to be false it will never even get to this second relation right here it won't even worry about that because it sees the and it short circuits out doesn't even look at it and it says since that was false the opposite of false is true and it runs through and says true okay let's take a look at this it says what is printed when the following code executes x equals four and y equals three all right, so we'll just take a look at this. It says um, X, in this case right here, we're looking right here, four is less than three. That's not true. So I can still resolve this using the or. Is three greater than two? Yes, that's true. But there's an exclamation point out in front, which makes it false. Okay, so since that runs false, it doesn't run this line right here. It skips it, moves to the else, and it prints out system.out.println second case. So second case, let's check it. The answer is true. This will be printed if X is less than three or Y is greater than two. All right, let's look at another example here. It says, what is printed when the following code executes X equals four and Y equals three? All right, so four is less than three, or sorry, is four less than three? And it sees that that's not true. And the and is there, so it's gonna short circuit out. That's false, okay? The opposite of false is true. So it's going to go ahead and run this first case right here. So I'll say first case and I'll check it. And that's true. Okay, now we have this programming challenge. Okay, and it says truth tables. Complete, complete a truth table for the Boolean expression 
not x is equal to zero or x is less x is greater than or equal to one is this the set of positive or negative numbers is the expression true when x is positive or is it true when x is negative you can try out the values when x is one negative one or zero they're using positive negative numbers and zero okay it's also saying complete a truth table for if x is equal to zero and or x is not equal to zero and x is greater than or equal to one and it's not true is this a set of positive or negative numbers and then the last one asks that as well are the three boolean expressions equivalent why or why not test your answers using the code window below okay so let's take a look at this all right it i went ahead and tested one condition here um I guess I can just copy this right here and I can copy that a few times. I'll add this in here. Well, I'll go ahead and add it like that. And then I'll add this last one in here and we can test it. So that would go in right there. Okay, so I'm evaluating these different conditions here. Uh, first, it says X is negative one. And we're gonna take a look at this. It says, all right, X is negative one. Is negative one equal to zero? No, but we have an or. So or is negative one greater than or equal to one? It's not, it's less than. So false, false will give me a false. But then the exclamation point on the outside makes it true. So this for negative one should give me true. Okay, and we'll test it for these two as well. All right, so this one right here, we're taking a look at it. Uh, negative one is not equal to zero. The and it short circuits out before it even gets to here because the and already knows that this condition is false. So I'm not even gonna look at that. So I have a false, okay? The opposite of false is true. So that's gonna give me true. Okay. Uh, negative one is not equal to zero. That's true. And negative one is less than one. So that's true but then I'm gonna get the opposite of it, which is false. Not, oh, I see, okay, this extra not out in front here. I see, I see, I see. So, yep, so I have is negative one, okay, is negative one not equal to zero? That is true, but I didn't see this out in front right there but that not out in front what's that oh i see i see i see so this wasn't originally in there okay 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 okay. gotcha so that would make it true so if i have negative one is not equal to zero that's true and negative one is less than one that's true so it should print out all right, good catch. And if I were to print it out, I'll save and run it. And I get true, true, and true. Okay, let's go ahead and test it out with zero. And I'll run it. And I get false, false, false. Try it one more time and run it with one positive number. I get false, false, and false. So they all, all of these with each given condition return the same exact result. Okay, so we know that if we have this condition out in front, not X equals zero or X is greater than or equal to one, that's the same, gonna give you the same value as this. 
which is then also going to give you the same, va same value as this right here. Okay. Um, if you're moving through this, and I already went through and, and was trying to see if I could speed through and do this, and maybe I'll wonder if I can like reset these. Um, it's okay. So X is, so I have the exclamation point on the outside. X is greater than two and Y is less than four. Okay. What this really gives me is I'm going to go ahead and flip this sign right here to less than or equal to. I'm going to write the opposite of and, which is or. And then I'm also going to flip this sign to its opposite, which is greater than and put the equals to symbol there. Okay. So if I were to check this, if it were C, if I check it and run it, that's true. The reason why this wouldn't work, check this out. If I were to say this one, notice that that is the opposite, yes. And these are the opposite symbols, and and or. It doesn't actually run. I have to include less than or equal to and greater than or equal to in order for that to actually be true, logically speaking. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this before I even move down. Okay. Which of the following is same as the code below. And I'm just looking at this. I'm trying not to reveal the answer here because I already went through and just wanted to make sure that I was able to speed through this. Um, I have not X is equal to two, which means that I would write this as X is not equal to two or y is less than or equal to four because that's the opposite right so let's go ahead and look which one that is that one is actually d notice x is not equal to the opposite this opposite of and is or and the opposite of greater than is less than or equal to check it and it's going to be true all right same thing here with this question, okay? What's the same? All right, so let's find, let's go through this and distribute this not throughout, okay? Not equal to then becomes equal to. So X is equal to five or Y is equal to seven, okay? The opposite of a not is a true. So it must be equal to. So X is equal to five or y is equal to seven okay x is equal to five or y is equal to seven we'll run it and it's true all right this value right here which of the following is the same as the code below all right so not let's distribute this not throughout x is so i have le less than or equal to that becomes a greater to or greater than greater to greater than X is greater than five or Y is less than or equal to seven. Use the opposite here, less than or equal to distribute that negative throughout. Okay. X is greater than five or Y is less than or equal to seven. That's D. I'll run it. All right. On the AP exam, which of the following best describes the value of the Boolean expression a and not B or A. Okay, how will this run? Well, check this out. If B is true, and let's say A and B are both true, right? Let's just use both true. It would, it would short circuit out after the first true and just say not, okay? And then if A... And, well, it wouldn't be true here because if it's and, one's true and one's false, then that would give me a false. Um, if B was false instead of true, false or, okay, if I know that false, it, sorry, if I know that B is false, the other value would then look at, we'd look at the other value. If that was also false, then that would give me the opposite, which is true, A and B, okay? 
the value in this case, if you're going through and looking at this, these are my different options. Either the value is always true, the value is always false, or the value is true when A has a value false. Notice that if one of these is false, right? If this is false, then that automatically, I know A can't be false in order for this to run because the and would short circuit out. If A was true, this would always give me a false value, okay? So the value would always be false in this case if I were to run it. And the reason they give is since A and not A can never be true, right? You can't have the opposite both be true. The result will always be false in this case. That's an example of a question that you would see on the AP exam. Okay. Um, we'll spend some more time here going through this in the next uh, few lessons. I wanted to be able to squeeze this in to today's 45 minute class period. Um, but it says De Morgan's law can be applied to Boolean expressions to create equivalent ones. Uh, we talked about negated expressions, uh, as well as with a relational operator and how to make that change. And we did it practically throughout the, the lesson today. But less than turns into greater than or equal to, a greater than turns into less than or equal to, less than or equal turns into a greater than, and a greater than or equal to turns into a less than. Okay, truth tables are very valuable and can be used throughout not just uh, philosophy, but also computer science. Um, and like I said, if you are taking computer science in college, you will have to take some sort of philosophy class, most likely, um, depending on the school you go to. Uh, the equivalent Boolean expression will evaluate to the same value in all cases. If it's not a separate class, it will be tied into one of your computer science classes. It says you've attempted 10 out of 10 activities on this page, completed well done. And that was 3.6 equivalent Boolean expressions to Morgan's laws. And as you go through here, and you take a look at these truth tables, I know I drew some on the board here. Right, But if you want to actually play out and go step by step through every single thing that I went through and create your own truth tables, that's great. We're just trying to find shortcuts. And that's why we talk about easy ways to remember. To move the knot, flip the sign. If you want to move the knot throughout the expression, you can do that. Okay. Uh, the other, um, I guess, where was it? The other shortcut that it mentioned was... Um, in order to move the knot inside and becomes or, and when you move the knot inside or becomes and. Okay, so taking a look back at what we talked about in the beginning of the lesson, right? If you're able to take this and distribute it throughout, the knot is distributed to the A, it changes the and to an or, and it changes the knot, the B to a not B. If you have a not A or B, you still distribute the not to the A, you flip it, the or to an and, and then you, you are able to distribute that not to the B as well. But it's meant to make things easier, to simplify different complex expressions. All right. And that's it. That's 3.6.